In 4.2, we've got Extract H, the climax of the play. Feel free to pause the video, have a good read through, and let's get straight into the question. So 4.2.1, um, where exactly is the time and place where this extract is set? In other words, they're asking for the setting. So the setting is actually at the number one classroom at Zolila High School, when Tommy actually tries to stop Mr. M from leaving the classroom just before Mr. M is well killed. Uh, 4.2.2, refer to lines 5 and 6, somewhere there. Uh, identify what the figure of speech is uh, used in these lines. So, what is wrong with this world? That it wants to waste you all, like that my children, my Africa. Okay, this is a rhetorical device here. What is wrong with this world? Okay, we're not expecting an answer here. Um, it's a rhetorical question. B, explain why this figure of speech is relevant in this extract. Well, the destruction of children's lives in Brakwater is a representation of the evil across the world, which saddens Mr. M to a great extent. Um, 4.2.3, lines 7 to 8, so lines 7 and 8 here. Explain the irony in these lines. Um, so Mr. M describes the youth in a glowing and affectionate way, so beautiful and proud. Beautiful and proud. Yet their actions are not beautiful and proud, they're rather vandalistic. Because they're acting violently by breaking the school windows and throwing stones. So both parts must be included here to score your marks, guys. 4.2.4, refer to line 10. So here's line 10, I've just circled it. Um, no, don't go, listen to me. Uh, to whom does them refer? So 4.2.4a, them refers to the comrades. Okay, that's involved here. If you were the director of this play, what would you tell Tommy to do when saying these lines? Um, states any two actions. So he should step very quickly toward Mr. M. So step quickly would be definitely the first thing I'd say. And also he should grab Mr. M's arm because it's it's serious, like physically trying to stop him. He should stand in front of Mr. M to prevent him from leaving and perhaps even widen his eyes to express fear. Yeah, so anything along those lines would have scored you the mark. 4.2.5, what does this extract reveal about Tommy's state of mind? Uh, substantiate your answer. So in 4.2.5, Tommy here is, is absolutely terrified at what could possibly happen here. He's fearful, he's anxious, as he is unable to convince Mr. M to not confront uh, this angry mob. One of the themes of My Children, My Africa is racial injustice. Uh, discuss this theme, so you've got to put quite a bit of meat on your answer here. Um, so a nice three marker. So let me just give you some nice valid points here. So firstly, uh, I'm just going to write BE here. Point to education, so it's inferior, as the authorities used it to oppress uh, black individuals. Black people suffer social injustice as a result of unjust laws. So for example, the Group Areas Act, okay, that forced people of color um, into townships and just made life a lot more difficult for them, inaccessible to some major amenities. Isabel is denied access to the township when she goes to inquire about Mr. M's death. So now Isabel is facing some level of injustice. So Izzy, let's call her Izzy, she is denied access. Access denied. 4.2.7, the title My Children, My Africa is suitable for this drama. Discuss your view. Um, look, this is an open-ended answer, so you can give a yes or a no as long as you substantiate it effectively. So yes, the drama is about school children in Africa, and the main character, Mr. M, is like a father to his learners, hence my children. And while well, the exclamation marks indicate Mr. M's passion for learners and education. And no answer is also possible here because the drama, it focuses on a very small group of children in Africa, and Mr. M does not have any children of his own. So hence the pronoun my, that personal pronoun, perhaps it's not suitable. And in the end, the children that he, you know, claims as his own, they, they actually kill him. So yeah, that's a, that's a possible no answer. But yeah, nice little question here.